And unlike most European artists, most American artists at the time believed that depictions of real people in real places, in real settings, would help to reveal American democracy and create a uniquely American art form. Now, these um, artists tended to fall into two <coughs> camps. And they, they seemed to be almost kind of contradictory camps, even though they were, they were both doing uh, some similar things. You have the American regionalists, like Grant Wood and Thomas Hart Benton. And in their paintings, you mainly see the simplicity of the heartland. Farms and small towns where life was orderly and crops grew in orderly rows, uh, curiously untouched by drought and uh, dust storms and that sort of thing. On the other hand, the urban artists tend to be the social realists, <coughs> people like Joseph Hirsch and Ben Shahn and Jack Levine, who focused on urban and, and industrial America and found corruption, slums, and misery. And uh, their, their art was, was a lot more depressing uh, as a result. <coughs> Could you move to the next? Here are some, uh, I guess some examples, of, and what, what I hope everyone kind of appreciates is that the poster art uh, is very much art itself, uh, or art as well. Um, what you see here in the, in the right-hand corner is a group of uh, artists working for the arts project. And of course, the, the paintings tended to reflect both the, kind of the art deco era and also the socialist realism. Uh, that was very much evident at the time. Uh, it always kind of strikes me that, I don't know if you get the same impression, that in 1930s America, half the country was malnourished, and the other half was muscle down. Uh, and if you see the, you know, the, the paintings, you know, they, um, even the postal workers, you know, they're all, they're all kind of kind of muscle down. Um, the mural art. Was, is, is the most recognized and remembered of the New Deal art. And again, you, you tend to have these scenes of, uh, of uh, the industrial age is here, and there's almost like a competition between the machine and human muscle uh, that, that really comes out uh, at this time. Uh, I really like the picture in the lower left. Here you have uh, arts project artists actually painting WPA workers at work, which <laughs> is kind of an interesting combination. And uh, the, the poster on the upper right hand side, you had a lot of this. Uh, the, the arts project poster uh, artists did a lot of public service sort, sorts of things. They certainly supplied the artwork that was necessary to announce other arts projects, um, events, and also things for the WPA. We have a toy sale here. Um, there are some artists here in the upper left. And in the lower right is an art class. This is uh, something else that was a very big part of uh, the, the arts project, is uh, the arts classes that, uh, that, that were done all over the country in communities. And you had adults and children both. Uh, somewhere close to two million people took art classes uh, from the arts project. In fact, about one quarter of their um, uh, employees of, of the arts project were, te were art teachers who, who actually taught in the projects. Now, the, the mural projects, uh, the easel painters had the problem of having to parcel out their art and hope that uh, public uh, buildings and, and schools and so forth would take their art. The mural artists kind of had it a lot easier. You know, they had their wall to work with. <laughs> the wall wasn't going anywhere, uh, so to speak. And even though the Treasury Department controlled the art in most post offices and public buildings, public buildings in the rest of the country was probably uh, was was uh, primarily the domain of the arts project. So schools, libraries, city halls county courthouses, hospitals, airports, all over the country ended up having murals. And the main requirement was that the institutions pay for the materials the artists used. That was, uh, was mainly it. And that's why the, the paintings here on the walls uh, were $10 a piece. 
honestly, that that's what they paid for. The hospitals and public schools were especially eager for the murals. Uh, the hospitals saw the murals as therapeutic, and the schools saw them as educational. Uh, the artists uh, were very much influenced by uh, Bruegel's portraits of Flemish peasants from two or three centuries earlier.